This demo will showcase our Salesforce to Salesforce contact migration template. The migration pattern is the act of moving a large set of data from one system to the other at a point in time. Migrations are critical in any organization that has data operations and most commonly occur during mergers and acquisitions, implementation of new software, migration to a cloud-based environment, and many more. In this video, I'll show you an example of an organization A that needs to migrate some of its contacts to a new Salesforce instance at an organization B. We will also specify a filtering criteria. In this case, a contact will be filtered depending on the country and the email address. Right now, let's go ahead and see how it works in Salesforce. Here you can see we have two different Salesforce accounts. And here are the contacts that meet the criteria of being in the US, most of which have an email address. Now, let's start the migration process. This template is triggered by an HTTP call, so it can be used manually or programmatically. All I need to do to make it run is to send a request to a configured HTTP endpoint, and you can see how quickly I receive a message that the batch process has been initiated. This template is configured, so when the migration process is complete, you'll receive an email. As you can see, we've already received a message report that the migration process has been completed. Then, when we go back to our Salesforce accounts and refresh the page on our destination Salesforce, we will see that the contacts that met the criteria made it over to our destination Salesforce instance at the organization B. Let's now take a look inside of AnyPoint Studio and see what makes this integration possible. As we look at the endpoints file, we can see an HTTP connector that initiates the migration process by calling the main flow and then sets the payload and builds a response message. Then when we go to the business logic file, we can see that the template uses a batch module to make the act of moving a large set of data easier and more transparent. Here we find a Salesforce connector where that filter is determined. The filter is a part of the query that selects what should be migrated over, or at least extracted out of the Salesforce, and what should be filtered. Then we pull the data out of the Salesforce destination and check whether that account from Salesforce origin exists there. And if it doesn't, we create a new one, so we can get that ID and then link that contact that has been synchronized over to that account. Then, we check if the contact exists in our destination Salesforce and either create a new contact or use an existing one to upsert the information to our destination Salesforce instance. The last step that we do, we log a message report and send an email to the address we listed in the configuration file. Now that we know it stands behind this integration, Everything we have to do to make it work is to list our Salesforce credentials in the Properties file and run the application. Today we've shown you our Salesforce to Salesforce contact migration template and migrated contacts from one organization to another. To find out more about the template, follow the View Documentation link on the template's detail page. Give the template a try, and if you have any questions or feedback, please send it to info at mulesoft.com. Thank you.